for the last five years, they've had this thing called BBC News Pigeon, P I D G I N, <laughs> and it's targeted at Nigerians specifically because they have a Nigeria tab at the top as Central and West Africans is what they've targeted since 2017. And they think that this is, they describe it as a language of business and they describe it as one of the biggest languages in the world, even though it's just broken English. And it reminds me of this clip that I think we covered on the show about a year ago where the prime minister of Australia had a translator for a native that was next to him. And it was just like, repeating the same thing just in worse english so bbc said we can outdo you that that was that was really funny (laughs) so bbc says that we can do a much better version of that and make an entire website and i almost cleared the cookies thing at the bottom here but i didn't want to get rid of that too quickly because it says we done update our privacy and cookies policy (laughs) find out what and done change so okay i don't want to go to that actually we'll just Except their cookies for now, I guess, BBCs. But uh, Eric, I want you to, to read some of this um, because I just want everyone to experience the amazing Charles Nodded New King, okay? <laughs> and I'm going to get in trouble for somebody clipping this, but this is me reading this as a person who just thinks it's insulting to other people. How the Queen Funeral Day going to happen? I mean, it goes on like this, Eric. Would you like to um, read the first few lines of this article for us. Can we do this little caption here? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know who, like what voice to do this in because my experience with pigeon, I thought was like about for Hawaiians. Like ho- that's how Hawaiians used to talk, right? Is that they specifically off- said it's targeted for central and West Africans. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. You got to move that little thing though. Is that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. At the moment, <laughs> at the moment, at the moment, the queen die. Them go immediately past the throne and without, I guess without, I guess that's not, not pigeon there. Without the, without ceremony to the heir Charles, the former Prince of Wales. But, um, <laughs> but it get, <laughs> but he get some number of practical and traditional steps we he must go through. Before ED go down, go the crown. <laughs> this is impossible. Try the, the crown is one. This is a good one. <laughs> I love the subheadings. With him, they go call him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, um, <laughs> I also uh, like but, the, the, uh, yeah. you know, the stories off to the side that are all. Well, that's exactly similar. right. Yes. So we got Camilla, the new queen, the consort. God done give me tasks to talk for people with cerebral palsy. Oh my! Um, and then I remember going scrolling down to King First Declaration. Um, to, so it's just the word "the," but they're <laughs> changing it to "di." Queen Elizabeth II don die. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And it's how, a... do, how damn they take you some? What is that? Ad- what? I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't know, the- Eric. External site, no concern, PBC. 